coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. 42 years ago this week, we're talking June 9, 1978, Walter Jordan was picked in the NBA draft. He's in the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame and was all Big Ten at Purdue, yet Walter's biggest accomplishment may be one of unity. In 1974, Jordan leading Northrop to a state title, using sports to bring the city of Fort Wayne together during a time of racial tension. His is a message that is just as important now as it was back in the 70s. We look back on the career of Walter Jordan in this week's Throwback Thursday. It's the final game of the 64th Annual Indiana High School Athletic Association Basketball Tourney. If you remember the movie, remember the Titans, 71, all the busing started. That was a real movie for all of us. The Bruins are coming into this tournament for the first time in the school's history, although it's a young school, only three years old. We, we had all the racial tension. The first, day of, first couple of days of school, uh, fighting among everybody, people getting thrown through windows, arrests being made. It, it's, it's all around the country, but at Northrop High School, it was no exception. For Fort Wayne Northrop, the usual starting lineup, Tom Madden, a senior guard, starts uh, at 5'10", along with guard Walter Jordan, a 6'5", senior. So it was very intense because a lot of us was at, at places where, at school where we didn't want to be. You know, I was at Central Tiger. I grew up in that air, in that, 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 that neighborhood. Ball game about to get underway. In the same way with, with a lot of the, the, the white students, they, they were Snyder Panthers and they was, you know, they weren't Northrop Bruins. They were, you know, we didn't know about Northrop. So when you open up Wayne and Northrop at the same time, twin schools, you had a, you had a lot of issues around the country. Northrop with the ball, they're in orange. That was, that was kind of interesting. But it's amazing how sports brought the student body together. That's what I love about sports. Man-to-man -man defense for Jeffersonville. Turn around by Jordan Good. We started off winning right away. Winning was not an issue. So, but but then the the, the, the athletes started to come together on the fields and the basketball courts, and good things started to happen. Fans started to support us. They started to understand that hey, um, we're more alike than we are different. And so we, we start to get that, and by the time we became seniors, we were family. It was, it was a wrap. It was a wrap. And that is the end of the half with the score, 28 for Jeffersonville, 28 for Northrop. I think about that, that year, I think about my mom passing away a week before our senior year, our first game, my mom passed away, Thanksgiving around Thanksgiving time. Second half, about to get underway. About a week later, uh, we were supposed to play Northside, our, our driver. And, and my classmates, my teammates, every night after practice, my teammates would come over. I, I was not at practice to my house. And you had a, a, a lot of white folks coming to your house in the inner city had never been in the inner city before. But they were coming to see me every night. Six and a half minutes to go in this championship game. Drinks up, in. That team just bonded. We, you know, they all, we all rallied around it. There was no doubt that we loved each other anymore. Biggest lead for Northrop, nine points. So, I mean, the love was just there. Not only the basketball players, but just the, the classmates. And I, was, I would go over there and take a nap between games to some of my classmates' house, and they would feed me in between games. I mean, the, the, and back in the 70s, you know, that's, that's unheard of. Two seconds to go. Northrop leads by two. About all he's got to do is make this first one. We accepted each other for who we were, and that's a big part of the problem now is the ignorance, not knowing not spending time with each other, not talking, not communicating. Rebounded, long toss, it's all over, the ball game is all over. Fort Wayne Northrop has won its first Indiana High School Basketball Championship, 59 to 56 over Jeffersonville. When you win a state championship, high school basketball championship in Indiana, in front of 17,000 people in Bloomington, Indiana, you know, that, 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 will, that, that, that just never goes away, never goes away. Shorty Bertzel is presenting the 1974 state championship basketball trophy to the Fort Wayne Northrop High School team. The entire team is accepting the trophy, along with Coach Bob Dilley. We played for each other, uh, we love on each other, and here you are 45 years later, that, that, that bond is still there. It's something very special.
Now, Walter and I had planned to talk for 10 to 15 minutes when we did the interview, but we ended up having a conversation that lasted almost an hour, often talking about things other than basketball. He had a very valuable perspective on what's going on in America right now, so a big part of that conversation is posted on the Wayne.com sports page. I'm Glenn Marini, and that is your local sportscast.